Yo guys, Nuclear Softworks here today, and I'm going to be showing you some things on the basics I use in Blender. So, we get Blender from, you know, Blender.org, or actually the site you get Blender from. I'll leave the link in the description. When you first open it, you get this cube in the center of the screen. Today, I'm just going to be showing you the basics of UV mapping and moving this cube around. Blender is a very user interface program. Everything pretty much has a different key to do anything. You can split windows into 4, 6, 12 just by dragging this grip over here and moving it. You can get rid of the object tools for you to end up by pressing T and to put a window back you click between the two windows join area and you pull in the back normal each window can have a different view this window can be top, this window can be right, this window can be bottom this window can be rendered so Let's go ahead and start doing some work in this cube. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make the cube a different size. So we're going to press the S key, and if we move the mouse up and down, we change the scale on the X, Y, and Z axis. If we want to scale it across the X axis, we can press S and X and drag the mouse. Want to scale it in the y axis? S, Y, drag the mouse, and the same for the z axis. So here we got a rectangle, and let's go ahead and scale this back down to a normal cube. Press X or S and Z, scale it up, and it makes a cube. So now let's say we want to texture this nice cube we got here. We're going to hit down here to object mode, we're going to select edit, or we can just press tab. And it's already highlighted, so let's just press A to deselect every face. And we want to select the side tool and hold shift, right click on the following corners. And basically what this is going to do is when we unfold it, it's going to form into a T-shape, which then can blend texture and import it into Blender. So, we got a cube here. And let's go over to the Mesh Tools. Scroll down and choose Mark Seam. Think of this like um, peeling the skin off of a pear or a peach. It takes the sides out, puts them onto a flat image, you texture the image, then you can import it inside. It has its own texture. Instead of having a stretch texture all over the cube, we can simply just have each side have its own texture. So, looks good. Let's go ahead and press A. Let's go with the grip up here. Drag this across. Let's press T to close that. And on here on the bottom, we're going to select from this tool down here, we're going to select UV image editor. We get this 
kind of a cube-like square. And over here, I'm going to go to the side and click Unwrap. And here are all the sides. This one is the base, the bottom of it. These are the sides, this one's the top. So let's say we wanted to make this cube textured. We're going to click down here to the UVs, click Export UV Map. I'm going to choose a place to put this. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it cube.png. And here we have a nice cube. Let's go ahead and draw this thing random textures. Let's put a nice big A or Z. That works too. Hit Control S. Let's go back to our blender. Over here on the side, I'm going to select the material tool, which is this square thing off the screen here. And I'm going to close the UV window now by right clicking here and going to join area. I'm going to switch back to object mode. So when I click this, I'm going to click add new texture. The type of texture I'm going to choose would be an image or a movie. Now image, I'm going to click open, desktop, cube. Let me know what's here. Here's the cube thing we do. So we're going to scroll down here and we got to click coordinate, UV, flat. Okay, so what this is doing this is telling the editor, okay, this, this file is a UV map image. We're going to map each square to the side here according to what the seams are marked. I'm going to go down to Geometry under Influence. I'm going to select Normalize. Now let's click this, this ball right here next to the texture button. And we want to get rid of the specular. You don't want to have a glowing cube. And let's do some stuff to move the scene around. So I'm going to select the lamp. I'm going to move it over to where the camera is. Under Diffuse, I'm going to select the color to my cube to be yellow. The actual color won't appear in when you create the model on a different editor. It'll show up as a texture. Unless you're using an engine like Unity, then it'll show up as a different, like, uh, kind of like shiny yellow until you put a texture on it. Unity automatically knows if it's a UV map depending on what, what image you're trying to import. So, We got a nice cube here. I notice it looks like that. But the editor doesn't know how to map it in here. It only knows how to do it on the field. Let's go ahead and click render image. And there you go, you got a nice red face, you got a green face up here. And let's get a better look at the camera. Say cheese. Put this over here. I'm going to rotate it. Still not used to how this thing rotates. Z axis, okay. The lamp. I'm going to click render image. And we got a nice yellow cube top here. 
this is that is basically how you make a basic mesh that's textured in Blender. Not really, excuse me, not really much else to say there. I'm going to resize the camera and the lamp. And I'm going to hit render image. And here we got nice glowing yellow cube. And that is pretty much how you do that. If you have any questions, leave them in the description. Otherwise, uh, see you guys later.